This is the latest creation from Puzzle Potato. Puzzle Potato created a few really cool puzzles in the past that we've solved. The anti-gravity one, namely, and the Philosopher's Stone one, which are very cool. And I do like the integration of not only, you know, the wood, the plastic, but also the metal, I think is really nice to look at. Not a bad looking puzzle at all, I'd have to say. And uh, what's cool about this puzzle is it's it looks impossible. So it's like almost an impossible object. If you have a look at the uh, at the bolt, how it's situated, you can't obviously twist the bolt to get the ring out. Uh, so you can't uh, you can't untwist that because that's stuck. Oh, is it? Oh, maybe, no. Yeah, it's stuck within the wood there. So you can't twist that either. You can't pull the ring out because these things won't go back far enough. So, you know, by looking at it, this looks like an impossible object. Now, what I'm going to do here, as you can see on the top, this is the only thing that gives us any type of wiggle room. So, should we, oh, by the way, should we start a timer? Maybe we should start a timer. All right, so the only thing we can do, and I think that's what we have to start with, but the only thing we can do right now is just move the plastic. Uh, there's a small groove in the plastic, so you can slide it on over top of the wood. So if we do that with all three, do they stay there, by the way, if I hold it steady? They do. Is that enough room? No. See, the way the uh, the ring is made here, it is enough room to get out of one of these um, spaces. Definitely not enough room to get the ring out at all. So now the other thing I will say, I noticed that there are three layers of wood here on each, and they are separated. So my guess is that somehow... Uh, my guess is that somehow by moving these layers the bolt will oh what if i move them on this side if i move them on this side and i push the bolt in right so if by moving these layers that bolt falls down it will then free this nut over here and then i can screw it and that's the name of the puzzle by the way the name is screw up right so also you know the, the term screwing up but quite literally you know to uh to unscrew it so let's try out my hypothesis to see if this works out go here Okay, this one does look like it moves. You can see that a little bit, right? Let's try the bottom one. Make sure they're all as far as they can be. Bottom's not moving. Oh. Try the top again with this, just as far as they can be spread apart because that might be yeah there you go and I get a text at the same time there we go okay so that is unscrewed what does that do does that oh it does go down look at that see how it goes down is that enough to free Is that enough to free the bolt? It seems to be just enough. It seems to be, mm, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe we should, is there another thing I can move? Do I have to move the bottom one as well? So that makes sense if I'd have to move the bottom one as well. No, it doesn't seem like, no, it has nothing to do with it because it's stuck here. Okay, so that should be enough technically, I think. I think if we just, line it up perfectly 
and then push the bolt down as far as it goes. Yeah. Oops. Let me get back into focus here. So if I push on the bolt here, it gives me just enough room to unscrew the bolt. And there we go. And then the ring just comes out. And there's the ring. Under five minutes. Let's go. We've had a few puzzles. I mean, last week's weren't so bad. They were like 20 minutes, 20 minute puzzles. Well, total probably like 30 minutes after edits, maybe 20. But this one, a solid five minutes. Very cool. I like the use of that extra layer. I would like to have seen, because this is, they do say level six. Now, I don't know if this is a scale of one to 10 or a scale of one to six. Would have liked to see one more step um, or even the bottom part, like, because this part opened up, but maybe this part as well, or just one extra thing would have been nice for, for, uh, for the solve. However, I do enjoy having a simple object to show people and being like, here, like it's not too hard to figure out. And so if you were to give this to someone while they wait, and that, that actually happens, I do that sometimes. So I have friends over or we're, we're doing a podcast or just hanging out and I got something to take care of, I will just be like, here, play with this. I'll be right back. <laughs> and people are very happy to play with things, by the way. Uh, it sounds dismissive, but it isn't. Oh, and these come out too, so you can separate the entire thing. I wonder if that would be harder for someone to do. If you were to take the pieces out, or would that be easier? No, because you would see this right away. Oh, this is cool. We get to see the mechanics here. So that middle part locks up the bolt. Notice the shape. That's so cool. Oh, and this comes off. Oh, so this can all be separated. That's pretty cool. Uh, this side's glued in. And let's reconstruct it. And you know what's nice? Because normally, I think after an hour, two, three hours of puzzle solving, I... Sometimes I don't feel like putting the puzzle back together right away. I'll take a break before I do it. Um, you know, just because you're you're so you got that adrenaline dump of you know of solving it, and you're like yes, and then you're just left with this this giant mess that you don't feel like putting back together, and that happens up. So you know, I do have puzzles that are taken apart sometimes, and I'll put them together a little bit later just because I want a break. But in this case, because it was pretty quick to solve, I don't mind I don't mind you know and this one can be in any direction yeah and then we gotta get the ring in there as well which shouldn't be too hard and now it's kind of nice this seems correct right we can't turn that but this one we should be able to turn. oh it's upside down I did it upside down see even in putting it back together there's like small details and you're like yep that makes complete sense so this part over here had to be upside down. Do, do, do. Yeah, there you go. You got the other part of it there that fits the nut inside. There. Boom, boom. We'll get the bolt out of there for now. And that locks it up automatically. So now I can't. So it doesn't have to be tight. Okay. It doesn't have to be tight at all. It just, once it's... Once it falls down, it falls between those layers, so that can't be unscrewed, that can't be screwed. And then you're back to the start. Okay, well, I enjoy this puzzle. You heard my thoughts on it pretty much already. Uh, if you guys like this video, I appreciate it if you left a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you, uh... And you know what, let me know down below, and I've heard this from a few people, and obviously if this is the case, you won't be able to help me, but a lot of people say these videos help them fall asleep. Um, obviously if you're sleeping on this video, you're not gonna be able to answer, but comment below if that, if you put these puzzle solves on to fall asleep. And also let me know if you prefer them with or without music. Probably a question I should have asked a long time ago, but I prefer them with, but 
Let me know. Dude.